Hello Ratbags, it's Jade. Welcome to a special survival show today where I'm going over what I've got planned, which is the top 50 ranked survival games. I want your help. I want you to put your five top survival games down below in the comment section. But I want you to watch the video and understand what I'm asking for in terms of how you judge whether or not a survival game is properly survival and how good is it? How much the gameplay is important? How much the updates and the state of the game on console? There are so many PC survival games that are amazing. When they do get ported over to console, they're absolute shit shows. So I'm gonna go through some of that stuff with my top 50 ranked videos and pretty much just get your feedback a little bit ahead of it. But I did wanna talk a little bit about survival. Is survival dying? Are we getting to the point now where there's just not enough fresh ideas coming through, particularly on console. Also, why I represent on console so much still, why I bother making content when I can play whatever I want on a PC. Well, for many years, I didn't have a PC and I didn't have a decent PC even enough to play when I did get one. And even though I've got one now, I just prefer the feel of the controller, I prefer pressing one button, flicking through my games and playing it on my big fat telly. I really don't like sitting there at my office desk playing games. I do it as much as possible when I can on my sofa. So that's one of the reasons why. Also, I am cack-handed, I cannot use a keyboard. No matter how many years of experience I've already got, I really still struggle playing, particularly PVP survival games. So that's why I am still a console scrub. I have been in this survival game too long. Seven years ago was the very first time I put up a Minecraft video, which I would say is one of the premium survival games. Maybe not cool and dandy with certain people, but absolutely Minecraft is a survival game and it's the biggest and most popular one going. But for me, it wasn't until two years later that I really started to fall in love with survival genre as a whole. And my first episode of Art Survival Evolved, the day it launched on Xbox pretty much, that was my first experience in kind of modern, more grown up open world survival. Since then, I've covered every survival game going on consoles. I reckon there's probably only two or three I've not played to fullest. I've tried to deliver you guys impressions, gameplay and guides for all of them. Sure, some I don't spend more than a couple of episodes on. Some I've done over 500 news videos alone. Yes, I'm talking about ARK but I have put some proper time into a whole host of survival games over the years. So yeah, I do love talking about this kind of stuff. I love gauging whether or not games performing, how well it's supported, and that kind of matters to me a lot. So I do want to hear your feedback. Bottom line, these types of videos do generate quite a lot of views normally. That's why I'm doing it too. This video I did over a year ago now, the best survival games on Xbox and PlayStation 4, is absolutely a stonker. It's the third most watched video on my channel, and over the years, every time I've done a list video, it's more or less done pretty well for me. You guys are hungry to know what's the best of the best for survival on console and what's coming in the future. So right now, I'm about halfway through finishing off my 50 ranked videos, as I said, but I wanted to do it a bit different this time. In the past, I've maybe gone down the populist vote. I've looked at games that you guys have consistently told me you like playing, what gets the most traction on YouTube in terms of views, and generally they often are a little bit more modern, or they're definitely supported a lot with updates. But it doesn't necessarily make them the best survival game. So I've developed a foolproof plan to give you a score for each game in the ranked list. I'm going to measure these survival games in my new video incoming in three ways. One, survival. Two, gameplay or story. And three, performance and support. Each one of these categories is going to be measured out of five. So when you see the video incoming, you'll see three distinct scores and hopefully you'll understand what they mean. In this way, I'm removing a little bit just preference. I'm actually trying to do a bit more scientific approach. And then when a bunch of games are on the same score, I will put them in my ranked preference order. Ranking videos are all about opinion. Just because I've spent a long time playing these games and covering them doesn't mean my opinion is any more valid. But for sure, I do have that benefit that I have tried at least to cover a lot of these games or I've played pretty much every single one. So don't get too salty if I do deem one game better than another. I'm just trying to help you guys out to find out some great games and maybe some ones to maybe avoid. So let's dive into some categories. The first category, yes, is survival. How important is the survival mechanic to that game? There are games like No Man's Sky where you could argue, apart from the need for oxygen, there really isn't many more survival mechanics in it. You don't have real base defense opportunities. You don't need food, you don't need water. Most of the planets are habitable other than that oxygen. You don't really need to worry as much about the environment as you would think in a space game. 
So for No Man's Sky, I might only give it a 2 out of 5 on how important the survival mechanics are. But then when it comes to gameplay itself, how fun is the game? How much has the game got? What kind of things can you do in it? The sandbox nature of No Man's Sky, the story, the base building, the crafting, the exploration. That all amounts up to a pretty decent score for me, and so I'd probably give that something like a 4. And then performance and updates is the third category. Pretty much how janky were these games at launch? Have they improved? What kind of content has been added over time? Is it a game supported or is it a game very much still in a state of needing repair? Rust for example most recently might be a fantastic game on PC but it's a shit show on console. So for that game I might currently only give it a 2 or a 1. So hopefully you get the idea. I'm adding a little bit more gauges that you can argue with me against or for, but I'm trying to do it just a little bit more methodical and a bit more order and me simply going, that's my favourite game, no that's my favourite game. I've already shown some of this off early draft to my YouTube members where I give the scores and I give the breakdown, but that isn't the final one. I've spent about three weeks deliberating on it and I have changed the order and really taken a hard look at some of these games. Survival can be split into so many different categories, whether or not it's crafting, whether or not it's about base building, whether or not it's about exploration, surviving against the odds, surviving against players, is it multiplayer, is it single player, is it story led, is it purely the environment, the weather, is it simply just food and water? So in the future, you are going to still see big videos from me saying what are the top 5 best story survival games, what are the top 5 best multiplayer survival games. I'm going to build them up and give you guys the heads up on Twitter and social media, trying to give you guys an opportunity to give me more to think about before I start making these videos. I'm also planning a top 5 PvP survival games list, but for that I do need to sink my teeth into PvP a bit more, as it's probably the one side of survival that I've never really delved into, other than maybe Last Oasis or a bit of DayZ. In the last year, we've had so many different brand new survival games come to console. Last Oasis, Drake Hollow, Grounded. Green Hell, Breath Edge, in fact there's probably over 15 brand new releases on console alone in the last year. But going forward that number is dropping, so far right now I can only see about 4 or 5 games coming out in the next year explicitly for Xbox or Playstation. So I'm hoping it's just a case of some games not being announced yet, or there's plans underway to port some of the PC games over. And that's all kind of shaped this video idea. If there isn't a lot of brand new stuff coming out, maybe it's time to go and revisit some of the games that you may have not had a chance to play. The survival genre takes it out of you. Generally when you play a survival game, you are stuck to that one game. It's why Ark and games like Conan Exiles or Rust or even DayZ get very much talked about as being the best survival games. It's not because they're best, it's just because it's the only one people play. They're grindy, they take a lot of your time, and so it means that you don't generally experience or try other stuff as much. So yeah, expect some surprises in my list. I'll always be a survival based channel, I can't imagine that I'll ever really move on. I've dabbled and dabbled in stuff before like simulation games or RPG games, and while I've done well in certain things like Assassin's Creed Valhalla and others, it's the survival that you guys know me for. I've toyed around and tinkered around with the format, whether it's live streams or weekly videos, and I'm at the stage now where I really just want to play a bunch of survival games and really enjoy playing them, rather than necessarily making loads and loads of videos about just one particular game at any one time. So I hope you're going to be along for the journey, look out for that video, it's going to be coming very soon, go and check out some of my other survival list videos till then, and effectively put in the comments right now what you think your top 5 survival games are. Bearing in mind what I said, think about how much the survival mechanics are important, whether or not the gameplay is actually fun or is there stuff to do, and what kind of support and what kind of updates that game has received or will receive. So there we go, also I guess I just finish off with survival genre, is it dying? We do spend so much time playing just one particular type, and I think in the last year we've been a bit spoiled, there's been over 12 to 15 brand new console releases coming, whether they're ports or brand new ones, they have at least arrived either on an Xbox or Playstation. They're not always good, in fact the majority of them have been pretty bad, but that is the state of it, it's probably been the best it's been for a long time. But in the coming year, there really isn't that many that are appearing, I can only see maybe 3 or 5 major ones that might actually come out on an Xbox or Playstation in the next year. 
What does the survival genre need to give it a bit of an injection in the arm to make it more as popular? Some people say that 2014-15 was the golden year survival, when Minecraft was absolutely smashing it across all platforms, when Rust and DayZ had made huge splashes in the year before, and of course Art Survival Evolved came out. For sure, in the next two years after that, there was a whole host of survival games launching left, right and centre on Steam, and more and more were starting to appear on consoles. To me, it definitely felt like 2020, 2019 maybe, was the start of another golden period where we had so many good releases hitting as well. But things are starting to dry up again. So there we go. I love talking about this stuff. I do. I could waffle all day on about survival and the gaming industry and how it all works. Hope you guys are enjoying what I'm going to be doing. Take a look out for that 50 rank video coming very soon. And yeah, let me know, like I said, your five top survival games and whether or not the survival genre is dying. What do we need to change it? Until next time, Ratbags. Laters.